Well, allow me to tell you. Morning, doggies. Hello. How are you? Time to go out. Here. Then sit. Go, 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 go. Okay, 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 okay. Oh! Oh! Ha! <laughs> Didn't see you there. Didn't see you guys there. Where's me? Thing gone. What's she saying? This thing. There we go. What's up, guys? Liam here. And Charlotte. And Charlotte. Rude. And welcome back to LSJ TV. We are heading over to Leicester to do some shopping and I'll be answering your questions as we go throughout the day. How amazing and how fun. Liam, you're such a creative, innovative, and real good guy. Woo, let's go! Thank you. Question number one. How do you get comfortable on camera? And there's a few questions like this. Um, long story short, to, oh, it's not focused. There we go. Hello, people. How to get comfortable on camera would to be, um, just do it. Just do it as much as possible as often as possible and have confidence with what you're doing, have confidence with what you're saying and if you can manage that then to be honest you will look back at the footage of yourself when you're kind of talking on camera as well and you think yeah okay I'm, I'm kind of getting the hang of it you know and it kind of just flows so just get it started would be my advice. Next question, how is the diet going? Um, very well, thank you, mate. Um, I am 172.4 as of this morning, I think. Um, so that kind of went back up after I actually put my calories where they were meant to be again, because when you're at the expos and stuff, it's hard to eat properly, you don't really drink properly and all that kind of stuff as well. Um, so I woke up at 171.2 or something like that, which was just crazy, um, well, crazy low really it was a surprise to, to me anyway but also not a surprise that it actually kind of went back down to normal again um, in terms of how I stay motivated that is not not really a, a big issue for for myself I mean I know a lot of people do struggle for for motivation but as long as I'm seeing progress one way or another um, people can kind of get stuck in a, in a little bit of a rut expecting themselves to see progress every single day and that's just not gonna happen um, you have to bear in mind that you have to see your progress over the week, your progress over the month, um, and whether that's gone up or down. If it ha if you haven't made the progress that you can that you wanted to make, sorry, you can then make the necessary adjustments, and then that will help with your motivation. As long as you are slowly but surely seeing progress in one way or another, whether that's with your bulk slowly going up, your cut slowly going down. Yes, your strength might go down, but with that, your physique will be improving and all that kind of stuff as well. You have to bear these things in mind because people kind of get so fixated on the weight that they're lifting and not how they look in the mirror, not their weight on the scales and all that kind of stuff. If you, play, if you put all of the factors, sorry, into play, then actually take kind of like a broad perspective of it, it will help with your motivation and you will see progress if you are being consistent, that is. And so stick with it, be confident that you are actually putting the effort that you need to into it to actually see any progress. And you should be good. If not though, if not, just drop me a message. Uh, next question. What is the worst thing about dieting? Um, for me personally, 
This is a really, really easy question. Um, I love pizza. <laughs> I love KFC and I love all that kind of stuff. I, like Most people like fast food and, you know, having to cut that out or not have as much of that or just not have the freedom to kind of eat essentially what you want when you want. Um, that is the worst thing and, and especially kind of drink as well, like alcohol, I'm a lot more conscious of that. Um, even something as simple as, you know, watching Liverpool w with with like the family or whatever, we sometimes just sit there with a the gin and, and drink and, and watch the game. Um, whereas I have been a bit more conscious and, you know, said no to that drink because I don't need the extra calories and stuff like that, which is fine, but it, it's just irritating to not kind of have that freedom. But then at the end of the day, that is kind of what you give up in order to see progress with, with the kind of weight loss. Not necessarily give it up, I'm not saying go and give it up altogether, but... Um, yeah, and on that note, we're actually on our way to Spoons now to get some food and... and uh, alcohol! Yeah, and, and alcohol as well. I don't want the food! <laughs> well, the thing is, I actually busted my balls. Like, I really, really worked hard in the run onto body power to kind of um, be strict with my diet, be strict with my training, consistent with everything. Um, and now, post body power, I'm just going to kind of have a few days where I just relax and then kind of get back on it and um, go from there. Let's, let's go and get a drink. <laughs> Three, two. Right, so that was the ultimate burger from Weatherspoons. If you are in the UK, you'll be able to get your hands on one of them and would definitely recommend. Nice thin kind of streaky bacon. How many calories you ask? Zero. Okay, so I'm gonna answer a couple of quick fire questions right now. Did you ask for ghost any of the UK Wow, okay, I'm literally reading this from my phone. <laughs> did you ask Ghost for any of the US flavors? I did. Um, no, I actually missed out on the US flavors, like the grape and the Sonic stuff, on the basis that they uploaded the, uh, you know they put the Instagram story up saying that they were selling them and that they wouldn't put them out, you could only get them if you asked. Um, I was actually already inside the expo when they put that up and so the signal in there was just shit and so, no, unfortunately not, but we did pick up plenty of good products from Body Power, so I can't really complain. Newcastle Nights Out had a couple of uh, questions about that. Yes, uh, it is on the list. I would like to go out in Newcastle, so that is on the cards. Would you ever compete in powerlifting? Uh, yeah, definitely. I mean, I, I would prefer to compete in bodybuilding first before I do do that. Um, but yeah, I feel like that would be something that I would be interested in, but then... I don't tend to deadlift and so I would kind of have to bring that up if I wanted to actually compete and, and, and win, you know? This question wasn't actually on the Instagram kind of poll thing, but Perry, who watches my videos all the time, asked what my favourite monster flavour was or what the best monster flavour was. Um, and white, of course, white is superior. Um, as you guys saw in the Body Power videos, we tried the blue one. Uh, at last, finally got to try one, right? Uh, and I would put that third, I would put the blue one third, I'd put white followed by red, followed by blue, and then maybe like the purple or something. The orange one, if you ask me, just kind of tastes a bit like Fanta. And so if I wanted to drink something like that, I'd just have like a, a Fanta or some, some orange. I, I, I don't know. It still tastes good, but white is just the pinnacle. Is that the right word, the pinnacle? I don't know. <laughs> Where do you see yourself in five years? Um, very difficult question. I never really know how to answer it. Um, but as long as I'm happy and have a smile on my face, I'm, I'm not too fussed, you know? When's the new merch coming out? I have something kind of planned um, over the next like, month or so. It's just whether it kind of works out. I need to figure out a few things that... Soon. Would you ever consider competing in bodybuilding? Yes. Yeah, yeah well, I kind of answered that a minute ago without really realising. Um, yes. Yeah, definitely. I'd love to compete, but to be honest, I feel like I need more more size, you know? I, I, I would... If I wanted to... I can't speak. If I, if I competed, I would want to win, and I would want to do really, really well. You know, you, you don't want to dedicate four months of your life to something um, just for the sake of kind of doing it. I want to do it, and, you know, I want to do well, and I feel like if I did it now, if I did compete now, then to be honest, I just wouldn't do well. I don't have the size, um, the density in my muscles just isn't there. If I cut down to that body fat, I'd just be like a twig, you know? Um, so I, I'd like to take another couple of years. Um, but hey, who knows? We'll, we'll see where, where we're at and um, kind of take that as, as, as it comes. So, final question of the day. And it's been asked by two or three um, people. And so I figured it was like, 
worthy of the, the title, you know, because it's clearly something that you guys want to know, want to hear about, and uh, are curious about, which is <laughs> bizarre to me, really. But um, so body power is done, body power is finished, right? The the whole hype's dying down now. You know, everyone's inspiration will again slowly kind of start to dip again. Um, hopefully not. Hopefully you can keep on watching, and I can motivate you. You know, but. Um, Body power's done. So what next? What now? What the bloody hell are you going to do, Liam? You've been uploading body power content for the last eight days now in a row. What are you gonna do now? Well, allow me to tell you, in this nice, dramatic scenery, right? Don't worry, it's not dramatic what I'm gonna say or anything, but to be honest, it was just really loud out there, so I've come inside here. Um, in terms of the, the, the diet, I'm going to continue with the diet for the foreseeable future. Um, I have never got down to a, a lean, like really lean state before, and so I don't know what kind of weight I would need to be um, to get down to that. I'm going to lose another few pounds and then kind of reevaluate the situation. So in terms of the diet, um, that is going to continue. Um, again, like I say, for the foreseeable future. In terms of YouTube uploads, I will go back to the Wednesday, Sunday schedule. Um, obviously, I've been doing daily. I did Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, and now Wednesday to finish. So eight videos in eight days, um, the majority of which have been body power related. And so that's that's kind of, kind of nice. You know, I really enjoy body power and I want to upload as much in and around the time body power as possible. So obviously we have my why I love body power video to come as well. Um, I wanted to upload that today to be honest with you guys, but I want that video to be good. I want it to be kind of, um, meaningful, you know, I, I, I the meaning, the what, reason why I love it so much is quite meaningful to me really. And so I want to do the video justice. I want it to be a good video. Um, and yeah, it just needs it needs time, right? So stick with me with that one. Um, so we've done diet, we've done um, YouTube uploads. Um, what else? Life. Let's talk about life. Um, I'm just gonna kind of keep plodding along, you know. I'm gonna keep doing what I'm doing with work, keep doing what I'm doing with this, and um, yeah. That's well. That's that's that with that one. Really, there's not a lot to say about about that. Um, in terms of uh, all that kind of t-shirt stuff, like you know, the, with things. The thing is, right. Let me let me just get comfortable. The thing is with hang on with with stuff like this, um I love it. I really, really, really love it. Um and I would do it like I said in yesterday's video, I would do it every single day, like I have been, um, if I could. Um, but the thing is, you, you, at this point in time where that I'm in, you know, I don't make a livable kind of wage for from it. Um so I can't, it's, it's just that simple. Um, but there are kind of a few things in the pipeline um, which may allow me to, you know, start making a bit more money from social media and therefore start making more videos for you guys because I have more time to make more videos for you guys and all that kind of stuff. Um, but that's all just in the pipeline, so we shall have to see. Um, clothing stuff, like plans and you know, coaching and all that kind of stuff. Um, Lots going on up here, uh, lots to do, lots to work on, and um, yeah, just, just stay tuned because it's going to be cool, you know? Um, so, that's it. Eight days, eight videos. Tick. Was that a backwards tick? I can't tell on the camera. Tick or tick. Is it one? No, see, that's the right way around for me, so it must be this way. Tick. Day eight, let's, right, hang on, hang on, let's make this a monumental moment. Day eight, tick. Cool, job done. So, Wednesday, Sunday is the usual schedule now, guys. If you have enjoyed this video, please do me a favor, like, comment, subscribe, share it with a friend if you feel like it may help them, if you feel like it may entertain them, if you feel like it might put a smile on somebody's face, please share it with them. Thank you. I hope you have enjoyed these eight days because I've busted my balls to get the videos live. I've used personal hotspot to upload videos. I have not slept. I need some sleep. Um, but I've loved every second of it at the same time. So I hope you have enjoyed it. Thank you so much for your support over the body power period. If you are new here, if you're an OG subscriber, well, if you're new here, you are still an OG subscriber because we're only on 1600. We have a way to go, but you get my point. Um, thank you all for watching. Thank you so much for your support. Let's keep this up. Let's keep this momentum. Let's keep this momentum going together we will grow thank you so much and i'll see you in the next one
Body Power 2019 daily uploads. Are you ready, Dad? Are you ready? That's a wrap.